everyone, and, and thank you for being here. Thank you to uh, Billings Brewery for hosting us this, this afternoon. This is a beautiful facility and another, another beautiful day in Paris. I think we, shall, we would always be assured of a great turnout. We all have always had our press you know, uh, functions in a brewery. You know, and we're, uh, we'll, we'll be working on that a little bit. Hey, Joe. We're here today because our government believes in the economic potential of our small brewers. As the Minister of Agriculture and Forestry, I have been working to create new value-added jobs in agriculture, and this grant program is a perfect vehicle for that. There's an ever-growing list of breweries like the Billings Brewery across the province with more opening every year. In the last year, we've seen tremendous growth in breweries receiving their license to operate. And we would love to see this sector continue to grow, creating new jobs and further diversifying our provincial economy. The new grant program that we're announcing today will be an important tool to help encourage business development. The program will give Alberta's small brewers the long-term flexibility to invest in their businesses and continue to succeed in this highly competitive sector. It will enable them to increase production capacity, launch new products, develop new, new markets, and make necessary capital improvements. That's good news for Alberta brewers looking to expand their horizons for local agriculture producers looking to market ingredients, and for all Britons looking for work. Our government recognizes the incredible contribution that our province's agriculture and agri-food sector make, and the potential for the industry to have an even larger role in a stronger, more, more diverse economy. One of the keys to growth will be to create more opportunities in value-added processing, like beer production, so we can expand the range of Alberta products that find their way to market. Our beer production industry has tremendous potential for growth, com complementing our thriving agriculture industry. Local food processing, like breweries, spurs demand for locally grown products, and we know our primary agriculture producers grow some of the highest quality products. Alberta's food and beverage processors are already among the province's largest manufacturing employers, supporting jobs for more than 26,000 people generating record sales of $14.6 billion last year. And we can see that economic footprint becoming even larger. Today's announcement highlights just one of the ways that our government is working to encourage value-added industry development. Earlier this year, Minister Phyllis and I were pleased to announce a $10 million expansion of the Food Processing Development and Business Incubator Center in, in Ludo. The facility helps up to 100 companies each year providing research and development equipment, business coaching, and assistance to companies that are preparing to launch new products or become export ready. It's another strategic approach to encouraging innovation and growth in a sector with incredible potential. It's about partnering with the business community to give them the tools they need so that they can focus on thriving instead of just surviving. It's also part of what we are doing here today as we invest in a small brewer industry. Thank you again for joining us, and I'll invite Minister Speaky, speak Mr. Cici, to speak more about our larger goals. Wow, it's uh, great to be here amongst uh, so many of you, and to be uh, in this brewery. Uh, welcome to Calgary Ford, everybody, the best constituency in the province. Uh, I'm a bit biased, of course. And welcome to uh, Village Brewery, if you've never been down here before. Um, Calgary Fort uh, is blessed with many, many breweries. Big Rock and Wild Rose are just down on 52nd Street. I'm sure there's many, many other breweries in, in Ward 9, former Ward 9 as a city councilor, and now Calgary Fort. And thank you to uh, the minister, Minister Collier, for the great overview of the important work that is underway in our agricultural sector. It's great to be at a hometown, homegrown Calgary business. Village Brewery, like so many craft brewers in our province, represents the entrepreneurial spirit of innovation that defines this great province. So many Alberta breweries seem to start the same way. You know, friends have a beer or two, or perhaps too many beers, and dream about starting their own brewing business. The hard work and tenacity that goes into launching a business like this cannot be underestimated. Today, Alberta's craft brewing industry is an important part of a more diversified, more resilient economy for all Albertans. 
With 37 craft brewers and counting, our government knows that we all benefit with great local products that are created by hard-working Albertans. Since May 2015, 16 new breweries have been licensed to operate in Alberta. Alberta is clearly a place to be for, Canadian, for the Canadian craft beer industry. That's why today's announcement is so important. It means this young and dynamic industry will continue to grow, continue to create new jobs, and produce some of the best craft beer anywhere in the world. The Alberta Small Brewers Development Program will make it easier for small brewers to grow and reach more Albertans with their high quality products. Here's how it's gonna work. Alberta small brewers will receive a monthly grant based on their production and sales in Alberta. Brewers who produce and sell less than 300,000 hectoliters of beer in Alberta annually will be eligible to participate in the grant program. And Alberta's 37 small brewers are receiving a letter today with information of how to apply to the program today. If applications are submitted by August 3rd, brewers will receive their first grant payment next week. With this announcement, we are putting Alberta jobs first, and it's all part of our government's Alberta jobs plan that is creating new opportunities and new jobs for Albertans across the province. A jobs plan that is cutting the small business tax from three to two percent. A jobs plan that is investing in new training opportunities right across this province. A jobs plan that is creating new tax credits and expanding access to capital for businesses. And today, with this announcement, the Alberta Jobs Plan is making sure this young, dynamic industry is able to reach its full potential. So the next time you're trying to decide what beer to have for your summer barbecue, make it an Alberta beer. It's the best beer in the world. Cheers. And uh, right now, I'd like to invite Alberta Small Brewers Association President Terry Rocka to share a few words about this new program. Terry, thank you. Thank you, uh, Minister CC and Carly. I mentioned that it's a good day, and I think on behalf of the Alberta Small Brewers Association, we'd say it's a great day today. Um, for many uh, months now, we've been talking to the government about the potential for brewing to be a signature industry for Alberta. Think about our barley fields. Think about our vistas. Think about the hardworking entrepreneurs that call Alberta home. This industry captures all of those things and has tremendous potential. Unfortunately, um, up until now, it has been uh, behind the growth in other provinces, and we think with today's announcement, we're going to catch up and we're going to accelerate. The, the announcement is about jobs. And let me tell you something, uh, some of the research that we've been doing about jobs. A craft beer produced by an independent producer produces seven to 10 times more jobs per unit than a macro beer. That's why this industry is so important for Alberta. The economic impact way outstretches the amount of market share that a craft beer would have in our province. We think there's a huge opportunity to grow the industry. There's 40 industries now, and with at least a dozen, if not 20 breweries in the planning stages, we see tens of millions of dollars of new investment and dozens of new jobs coming very soon to Alberta. From Fort McMurray and Grand Prairie to Lethbridge, Cochrane, Edgerton, and there's plans in Canmore and Lloydminster and Medicine Hat. Every Albertan is gonna have the opportunity to drink amazing, fresh, local beer. Think about Wild Rosebury, just down the street. Three years ago, it expanded, a, it created a multi-million dollar expansion into a 40,000 square foot facility in which it created many new jobs. When I think about the history of this industry, it's also interesting to just give a nod to the big rocks and the alley cats and the wild roses that have been around for, a couple, uh, for decades. And the newest, Lakehead Brewing in St. Paul, Half Hitch Brewing in Cochrane, Theoretically Brewing in Cooley, in Lethbridge, all of these have opened in the past couple of months. So we're already um, seeing tourism develop. There's a Calgary Brew Tour that you can take, um, get on a bus and tour around Calgary. And we're just at the beginning of the potential for tourism in this industry. And 
And honestly, people, there's something for everyone. It doesn't matter what kind of beer drinker you are. If you're the nerdiest beer drinker out there, we've got something for you. If beer is just something that you want to have on a, a refreshing six pack of lager, there's an Alberta brewer that has a product for you. You've got to be covered. So I agree. Cheers to Alberta Beer. Thanks. Great. Thank you. Uh, now the ministers are happy to take some more questions. Yes. Any questions from me? Yeah. Okay, we can go to the phone line. Do you have a question on the phone? Hey, from Press, please go ahead. Okay, can you uh, spell the, uh, the financial details, please, of this grant? Uh, what, uh, how much it's going to cost and how much money you're going to get back? And will it cover off the, uh, will it make, uh, they say, make the small brewers whole when the dollar twenty-five kicks in? Uh, well, as you know, the dollar twenty-five will kick in uh, August first. Uh, that'll generate an additional thirty-six million dollars, and we will, uh, through the grant program, on a full-year basis, uh, grant back about twenty million dollars to uh, Alberta brewers who uh, produce up to three hundred thousand hectoliters in this province. So uh, the Monies that are going to be going back to them will be assisting them in their uh, their business plans, their their uh, economic development, their ability to hire more people, and uh, we anticipate, as Terry was saying, that uh, thousands, hundreds of jobs will be created in uh, dozens more breweries. So we're going to uh, see this money be used by these breweries to uh, contribute to their business development all across the province. Do you have a power minister and what you expect the average one of these 37 to, to get back in terms of grants per year? It, no, it really depends on how much they produce in Alberta and they sell. Uh, you know, it, the one, uh, one business, uh, the largest business, could receive up to $12 million back, but uh, it'll really depend on how much they produce and how much they uh, uh, sell in Alberta. That will be the amount of money they can distribute. Sorry, one more question. So could be more than twenty million at the end of the year? We, we could have what's the ceiling? What what's the what we how have, much are, are, sure. what's the maximum you expect taxpayers to be the Yeah, more? based on Joe, the sorry, if you can just address the cameras rather oh, than looking down. Sorry. Yeah. Based on the uh, the previous year's production and sales deem, uh, we anticipate twenty million dollars will be the total amount of grant monies going out. Thank you. Is there any more questions from the board? Bottom line, how does this, what does this mean to beer drinkers in Alberta? Uh, that they will see many, many more craft brews, uh, beers from Alberta come on the market and they will uh, have a greater selection of Alberta made beer. Uh, we have the most open uh, marketing system, um, of, uh, uh, liquor marketing system of any province in this country, so they will see more of their own beer available on uh, in the beer stores and uh, they'll see lots of you know we've got uh, about 20,000 products that come into this province uh, some of them are homegrown of course but they'll see more homegrown products and they'll see more employment as a result of that uh, in these breweries uh, and they'll see more investment in this uh, industry and that will create a greater diversification for our uh, troubled economy that we have and we need to see it bolstered by so many What does this mean to the agriculture industry? Well, uh, Terry had some really good uh, thoughts about all that, but uh, the agriculture industry will be able to uh, market and sell their barley right into more breweries who are going to be using that as uh, part of their malt and hops. Uh, we'll see hops also develop in this uh, province. So the agriculture in industry will feed into a growing uh, market of brewers who are looking to buy local and, and produce local. And for, for per bushel, are they going to make as much or more than they would if they were selling abroad? Uh, that's a good question. Maybe I'll turn that over to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah sir. that is a good question. We're not going to see a big, a big market. You know, barley, like other grains and other cereals, we'll see they're all based on our on world price. But they are going to be able to, what we know is that there's a superior product on our malted barley right here, right here in the province. They're going to be able to, to market that as, as a premium uh, barley. But there's, there's not going to be a buy up uh, price premium on that. Right? And as, as for the hops, we grow a, a small amount of hops here in the province. Uh, some in my own district, Whitecourt, St. Anne, actually, was a, which I believe is the 
research that started the hops are growing in our country. So it is possible to grow hops in this country, and I'm looking forward to be able to, to uh, 